waves i hope you are all fine the sultas on video shows a case of polyadenomas pregnancy with pregnancy of about 24.5 weeks fetal abdominal circumference and fetal femur are small for dates and there is mildly dilated brain ventricles you can see the fetal head and it shows mild dilatation of the brain ventricles if the initial ultrasound shows evidence of polyhydramnias sinologist will be requested to do a more detailed ultrasound measurement of amniotic fluid volume afv by measuring the single largest deepest pocket of fluid around the baby an avf value of 8 cm or more suggests polyhydramnias you can see the vigorous movements of the fetal head where there is mild dilatation uh, of the fetal brain ventricles common causes of polyhydramnias include gestational diabetes fetal anomalies with disturbed fetal swelling of amniotic fluid fetal infections and others rare causes the diagnosis of, is obtained by ultrasound now the ultrasound diagnosis the criteria is if the vertical measurement of the deepest pocket of amniotic fluid free of fetal parts is used to classify polyhydramnias into mild that is 8 to 11 cm then moderate 12 to 15 cm and severe equal to or more than 16 cm in about 80% of the cases the polyhydramnias is mild in 15 percent moderate and 5 percent severe now you can see the abdominal circumference is smaller for dates all and the femur length will also you will see the femur length is also small for dates now most cases of mild polyhydramnias are idiopathic but mo most cases with moderate or severe polyhydramnias are due to maternal or, or fetal disorders in most cases polyhydramnias develops late in the second or in the third trimester of pregnancy acute polyhydramnias at 16 to 22 weeks is mainly seen in association with twin to twin transfusion syndrome now impact of polyhydramnias on pregnancy most women with polyhydramnias will deliver healthy babies with no problem if polyhydramnias is severe it may make the uterus contract and you will find it difficult to get comfortable in a chair or lying down now you can see the femur length is also small for dates and the femur is curved now with polyhydramnias risk of the following complications is increased preterm contractions and possibly preterm labor preterm premature rupture of membranes fetal malposition maternal respiratory compromise umbilical cord prolapse uterine atony abruptio placenta now moderate to severe hydro hydro uh, moderate to severe polyhydramnias may cause the following symptoms difficulty in breathing swelling in the lower extremities swelling of the vulva decreased urine production constipation heartburn feeling huge or tightness in the belly 
these are are symptoms felt by the mother now birth defects uh, some birth defects associated with polyhydramnias are uh, persistent of polyhydramnias has been associated with fetal naploidy and polyhydramnias at birth has been associated with preterm delivery unstable lie malpresentation cord prolapse and placental abruption the afi is normally 7 to 25 cm in addition each individual pocket of fluid should be 2 to 8 cm now the fluctuations outside this range define oligoadromnias to little amniotic fluid or polyadromnias too much of the amniotic fluid in cases with multiple gestation a range of 3 to 8 cm is defined as normal with the method with this method polyadromnias is classified as mild moderate or severe mild adromnia polyadromnias is characterized by a value of 8 to 11 moderate polyadromnias by a value of between 12 to 15 cm and severe polyadromnias by value above 16 cm polyadromnias is the term used to describe an excess accumulation of amniotic fluid this clinical condition is associated with a high risk of poor pregnancy outcomes the reported prevalence of polyadromnias range from 0.2 to 1.6% of all pregnancies now you can find some more information in the description of this video thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you do like this video please click the like button thanks